Hello, hello, and welcome again to another time-sticking YouTube video. I'm Jake, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about a Casio GPS watch that predates smartwatch technology. So stick with us through this intro, and we're going to break down this timepiece with you. Casio is one of many companies that have moved their GPS technology into Android OS smartwatch tech. But years before that, Casio broke ground with their own GPS wristwatch. In fact, their Protrek series premiered a model nicknamed the Satellite Navi in 1999, which was the first wristwatch with built-in GPS on the market. The key phrase being built-in, because GPS had been around for a little while with watches up until that point. Now Casio had already been familiar with stretching the ability of digital watches to perform functions outside of timekeeping. It could be said that between Casio and Seiko, the era of smartwatches started as far back as the 1980s. With computation getting smaller and smaller over the years, the adaptability of multiple technology into one package became easier and easier. But before everyone had access to, essentially, whole computers on their wrists, the weeds had to be sifted through to find which watch features matched various lifestyles. This is what was so impressive about the 99 release of the Satellite Navi. It encouraged forward thinking in terms of how watches could ease the burden of tracking travel across time. In terms of its release, the BRT-1 GPJ, known as the Satellite Navi from Casio, was dropped at the Consumer Electronics Show in January of 99. Its premiere was well received, so much so that the watch went into full production and was released to consumers in June of that year. Came up pretty quick. The general specifications included a 10-hour battery at full charge, receiving information from 27 U.S. satellites, a far cry from the hundreds that are up there now, and displaying a very basic map of the wearer's location. When we say basic, we mean 8-bit digitized mapping. It was a crude way to deal with global positioning, but it was ahead of its time in terms of vision. Although by today's standards it's a clunky device, having a massive case size standing almost an inch off the wearer's wrist, Casio delivered on bringing GPS computation down to a personal level. In all honesty, GPS watches haven't come incredibly far from this original tech, but there have been improvements. Newer models, along with smartwatch designs on the market, have brought the size of wrist-worn GPS down considerably. As well, satellite mapping has become much more accurate and battery lives last a little bit longer, depending on the piece. That being said, the biggest improvements have come in making the package more wearable and easy to read. 10 hours is still a pretty hefty battery life by today's rechargeability standards. The only reason why we add a caveat to this, saying that there haven't been too many improvements, is because of that battery life. As well, most wristwatches that aren't smartwatches that have GPS still have pretty basic or rudimentary readouts. Casio and other digital watch manufacturers were the progenitors of an era of watches that pushed watches far beyond simple timekeeping. During the quartz revolution slash crisis, depending on who you ask, Japanese watchmakers began incorporating vogue elements of technology into wristwatches. Critics of this style of watchmaking are quick to point out the relative novelty of certain techie watches. However, as novel as some inventions may be or have been, their inspiration comes from believing in the engineering prowess of people to illuminate and inspire new ideas in watchmaking. Thus, we'll likely be covering more proto smartwatches, like the Casio Satellite Navi, here in our Times Ticking YouTube posts in the near future. After all, what's to come in the future definitely draws off of the past as well as the present to influence new creations in watchmaking. So, if you have any cool proto smartwatches to send our way, mention them in the comments. We like to hear about new timepieces or maybe old timepieces that we've overlooked so far. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.